Welcome back to another Beard Cutter review. Today is episode i I'm Justin. <laughs> what is up? I'm Logan. And together we're Cowshock. As always, Logan's anime viewer only. I come from the manga. And we're going to discuss the episode <laughs> and give our score at the end. You ready to jump into this? I am ready. I definitely was not expecting that. <laughs> <laughs> Very <call>. good. Okay. <laughs> so, yeah, starting off, we see Goblin Slayer as a kid. Uh, getting training from his master, who looks like half goblin, half human. I don't know. <laughs> so he kind of looks like a goblin. <laughs> He's just, uh, and you see him doing riddles and stuff with uh, the training. Very, and then it goes straight Lord of the Rings here, where he's like, "Let's send me pocket." It's the one ring to rule them all. I know what's in your pocket. <laughs> I've seen the Hobbit. <laughs> oh God. It was nice to see a little background of, I mean, clearly he was pretty upset about what happened to his family, as anyone yeah, would. And Master, I don't, he's very hard and pushing and stuff. He's like, you were nothing. You watched your sister die. You're worthless and powerful. It's like, <laughs> why don't you go out there and just sock that goblin and take her out? And it's like, it's just basically just like, all right, um. I mean, he's pretty harsh, but it probably yeah. is the reason Goblin Slayer is so, like, I guess, stoic himself. Yeah, uh, <laughs> he obviously had to be a good master, though, at the end, because Goblin Slayer has been he's doing this for a long time. Since a kid, <laughs> who knows right. how old he was at that time, and now he's probably, like, mid-20s, early 20s, or something like that. <laughs> so, uh, he's still been, you know, just, his life is Goblin Slayer. Right. And I wonder... How old he was when he killed his first goblin? That's I'm actually kind of curious about that. Like, when did it start? Right? I could see them bringing it up. Hopefully, uh, at least I hope they do. Also, first episode where he doesn't have a helmet too. Uh, that is, it's weird seeing him. They don't show the face. Um, it's all. They actually. It's I, all. It's also weirder seeing him with just his helmet in yeah, regular clothes. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah it's true he won't go in public without his helmet okay <laughs> but yeah he uh he does wake up and he shared a bed with a priestess uh Quite resurrection kind of spell to basically keep him from dying he has to sleep with the virgin uh priestess i, I think that part's you have emphasized. to sleep adjacent to yeah, you have to share a bed. <laughs> share. They could definitely word that much <laughs> more proper. It's like, whoa, how was it like sharing a bed with us? I'm like, what? <laughs> Dude, he got oh. it. He got it. I don't think, I don't, I don't, it might be not legal age wise, but he got it. Jesus. I don't Christ. know the priestess age. I'm guessing not of 18 <laughs> and i'm pretty sure he's older than that <laughs> but, but it's okay clear, it's D, D world slept next to <laughs> yeah yeah a slept pure... next pure... to the cute little priestess girl okay <laughs> and then the big boob sword maiden lady okay but uh and she obviously talks about how she was not pure anymore because of goblins 10 years right. ago. She pretty much confirmed what could be assumed. Unfortunate for her. Yeah, yeah that and sucks. she's not like, <laughs> she's also Someone. not like fully blind. She can like see blurs and stuff. She's kind of like Daredevil. Daredevil, he's right. not like blind blind. He can still see everything, but he's blind. It's she would need weird some thing. solid glasses. I, no, I don't think that would fix it either. <laughs> no, I think she, it's more like she like can the, see it's like the daredevil thing people if you've seen daredevil you'll know what i'm talking about okay. i've seen yes don't lie to me you never watch the show you just continue <laughs> and i like when the when everyone comes in he's just like is the canary okay <laughs> it's like the first thing he mentions when they all come in it's like yes your canary is okay it's doing fine it's like thank you it didn't it didn't die it didn't we die. need it still okay uh, but they were all ready. They're like, let's go explore. <laughs> but first, like, mm, let's do the important stuff. Eat, 
they waited on him to wake up before eating. Good friends, okay? This is a solid nice party. Friends. And of course, they have to uh, get his armor repaired and stuff too. Which is where a lot of this goes for, just them going through the town. Uh, right. Specifically bonding between Goblin Slayer and Priestess. Uh, right. Where she's like, you need to stop just saying yes to every answer. Like, yeah. <laughs> I see. I yeah. see. Yeah. Yep. <laughs> it's like, it's like, can you go into a little more detail on these things? Conversations, okay? We're building your social skills, Goblin Slayer. You'll need them at some point. Uh, I don't think he would agree with that. <laughs> He'd be like, why do I need social skills to kill goblins? <laughs> Pretty much. <laughs> but, uh, he is changing a lot, though, from what we've seen throughout the episodes. Like, now, uh, he's more like, oh, I need to think about the others in my party as well, because I'm not just fighting goblins for myself. I got right. these other people I have to think about when I make actions. Uh, I mean, even when uh, Prisa says she wants to get the chainmail repaired because it's the first compliment Gamma Slayer given like he kind of understood and he because at first he was like just buying a new one and then when she said it he's like he actually kind of understood where she was going with it whereas before he probably would have been like that doesn't make sense let's go buy a new <laughs> right. one right he'd be like but it would be easier to get a new one I don't see your <laughs> I don't understand what you mean <laughs> just get a new one <laughs> just, uh, we do see some of the skills though like when he's there at the blacksmith, he can use a whetstone. He knows how to like shorten down blades. Uh, probably knows how to repair them. Probably himself too, uh, and all that. And we see where he's got that curiosity behind him when they find the ice cream. You know, he asks, "How do they make it?" Like he always wants to know the whys and hows behind things, so he can actually like maybe apply it to goblin slaying. Right, uh, he's. He likes to be informed a lot, which, I mean, it's helped him, clearly. I even helped him later in this episode. But it is a small, I guess, character detail that's really nice. It's, like, just pretty much super curious, and literally he'll apply anything he thinks will work to killing goblins. Yeah, exactly. Um, then he, when he's talking with the priest, he talks about how at one point in his life, you know, when he was a kid, or how he was scared to walk. Because he was afraid the hole would just come out from like below him and everything. That he's like, you know, <clears throat> he's like, my sister made fun of me for it. Other people make fun of me for it. And I realized you just have to move forward no matter what. And I'm still scared to death, which is kind of a, you know, something you don't want to think the Goblin Slayer would say. He uh, doesn't seem right. like someone who would be, you know, care too he much about scared. dying himself. Right. He doesn't seem very scared at all. Especially, you know, facing death all the time. But no, he still has got that that fear in him. That's probably what drives him, though, is that fear. Which, you know, fear is a great motivator. <laughs> yeah, so ma the ma mage girl brought him some flour, which obviously important later. Um, actually, just jump there. They go back down in. <laughs> And we get to see a beholder. So, beholders, obviously you gotta see what it looks like. Ugly. Uh, <laughs> they're actually, they can be pretty tough. Really tough. There are different levels of beholders. Especially if you come from the D&D &D side. Um, my brother in one of our campaigns almost got one-shotted by one. It, it kind of hit us by surprise. But you can see, in this, that, like, they were like, oh, if I told you you're dead, you're just gonna disintegrate is what they're calling it and then he's got like it can dispel magics and stuff like that if it notices it it's, right you know they're not they're not simple people or not people they're not people <laughs> at all they're not simple eyeballs okay it's not just a giant eyeball sitting there no it's gonna it's gonna disintegrate your ass right it's gonna bzz, bzz you right out of that dungeon <clears throat> so yeah they distracted it put it to sleep this is where the flower the ingenuity of what he learned from the miner. So that miner taught him a lot. Taught him about that the canary. Miner, he, he needs to go give that miner a tip. My lord, he, he's contributed very well to this slain goblin cause and slain ugly eyeballs. But I, I really, I've said this like four times already, but I do 
really enjoy like the different methods that they apply to kill things. It's not always just hack and slash your way through the enemies. It's like, oh, I learned this. Let's try it. I was, sure. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. <laughs> like, that was some really fine flour. Uh, he talked about how it had to be that <clears throat> flour from that farm girl right. or whatever because it's a lot more refined than it would have been there in that city. Uh, and he, he makes it blow itself up using an explosion and they're like, what? Like, an explosion? It's like, what? It's not fire, water, or poison. You're like, that's irrelevant. I don't even care about that anymore at this point. It's like, right. Dude, like, I love... It's like, are we his, far enough from the city? It's his like, lack of personality is so great that it's actually, like, a positive personality, I guess you could say. Because, like, first he was like, oh, hey, priestess, you need to, you know, use protection. By the way, if you fail, we die. <laughs> it's like, okay, no pressure. And then, like you said, she's like, oh, I said don't use fire. He's like, well, it's technically not fire. It's just the explosion. I'm like, for, all right. <laughs> I guess you're right. Sure. Uh, but we see it was guarding like a, a mirror, which I wish they would have went one scene further. It but was... I feel like the next scene is going to start the episode. Next episode, then go into the opening <laughs> Uh, I feel like I should have ended with the next scene. If you come from the the manga or whatever, you'll know what I'm talking about. Obviously, other people won't. Uh, but you should have gone at one scene further. Other than that, though, we roasted. We didn't get a goblin, but we roasted a no, beholder. No and we bed. shared a bed with some priestess. Okay? So, accomplishments. What would you... <laughs> How would you rate an experience involving those things? I rate the episode. Just rate the episode. Oh, 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 oh okay. Oh, I thought you were going to say personally, how would I rate doing those things? One, personally, like, 10 out of 10. <laughs> uh, I think I'll give it a... Hmm, I'm actually not sure. I think maybe an 8. Uh, I thought... You know, getting to see him, part of his origin with the master, was really cool. Uh, the beholder and just seeing where his experiences and like, and not just that, we get to see what makes him get those like that knowledge and learning. Just his curiosity, asking the whys and hows behind everything, and just seeing how many skills he has just kind of pop up in this episode. Uh, and you know, there's some kind of decent like, char- a lot of character growth and development came from this episode too and just the bonding of the characters so uh no yeah, i just thoroughly enjoyed it right i'll say seven and a half i enjoyed it as well um definitely a lot of showing more character of goblin slayer or i mean with his origin and also like definitely emphasizing the relationship between or the connection he has between yeah that we are <laughs> why is i saw you that sounds not how i want it to sound this connection between him the him and the priestess i will say we're kind of tiptoeing harem status which is straight because you know we have the priestess the cowgirl the desk lady the maiden it's like Okay, everyone is very... <laughs> you just called a farm girl cowgirl. <laughs> yes. Did I say cowgirl? Yeah, okay. Cows, farms, farm girl. <laughs> oh, I thought you were referring to something else. <laughs> Look at those jokes! <laughs> Cow- <I'm... laughs> oh my god. Holy... Take us out! Okay, okay, I'm just gonna, we're just gonna cut the tape, cut to the spiel, please get me out. As as always, be sure to like, subscribe, hit the notification bell down below, be notified every time we upload. Comment, let us know what you thought, wait, did I just, I don't even know where I'm at anymore, I'm out, peace, I don't even know.